So good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking the time and joining us today. If you have any questions throughout, please use the Q&A tab at the top or at the bottom of your screen. We will answer them at the very end. Um, a brief overview of today's agenda. I have Rob Lawson, our senior sales executive at Perfect Portal. He will be starting the webinar by completing a demonstration of the ECOS integration with our Perfect Portal branded mobile app. Then I will have Mimi, a senior product specialist at InfoTrack, who will go over some of the most frequently asked questions related to ECOS, as well as um, onboarding and this integration. Um, we have had this integration live for approximately five months now, and Lucas and Willis were one of the first firms to go live with this integration. Amy Church, managing partner at Lucas, uh, like Lucas and Willis, will be sharing her firm's experience with this integration for her client onboarding needs. My name is Satya Dhaliwal. I'm the marketing manager at Perfect Portal, and I will cover the 2021 integration development roadmap for this integration. Since we have lots to cover, let's get started. Now I would like, like to pass it on to Rob, who will share the details of how the two systems integrate together to provide a seamless onboarding experience for your clients and for your fee earners. Rob, over to you. Thanks, Satya. Yeah, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, today, my job really is just to show you quite quickly how to uh, onboard your client quickly and efficiently using the ECOS integration between uh, InfoTrack and uh, Perfect Portal. Just to give you those who don't know our system already, a, a bit of an overview of Perfect Portal. We're a new business management system and communication platform. Uh, and uh, the screen we can see now is just one of our uh, many different dashboards tailored to the individual that will be using the system on here. Where we'd ordinarily start uh, in the whole onboarding journey is at the quote stage. And what we can do is we can put any number of client intake forms, whether that's for conveyancing or any other areas of the business, onto your website. And that primary data is the data that's used through integration with your case management system to populate the file opening process as well, to save you time in doing that as well. So these are just some of the ways in which we can put in tape forms or conveyancing calculators onto the website. I'm just going to run through an interactive form here. Now, this is quite popular at the moment. Uh, it enables the prospective client to answer a few questions on here. We'll just go through a, a standard purchase. I'll just put some details in on here. I'm James Bond today. Uh, I'll put my telephone number in as 007. I'll just put my demo email address so we can see what the, the output of this is. So the client can self-serve uh, essentially here, putting the details in, number of buyers we can select. We can select freehold, leasehold, and we can put a property address in here. This will pull up from the, the postcode list. So we'll just drop this down here. And then again, it's accurate data that's then dropping into, into Perfect Portal, then into your case management system, any kind of STLT, government fee, stamp duty questions. We can customize this as with everything with this form, uh, however you want it, really. We can put a discount code on here and we like to build up the lead source. How did somebody hear about your for, firm? We can create an instant estimate on the screen at this point. And this is the... The first part of an integration with InfoTrack, really, because it brings across the, the disbursements directly from InfoTrack's database at this point as well. Uh, we can follow several different journeys with Perfect Portal. We can just drop that data into Perfect Portal for you to be able to follow up. I'll just email this estimate over just to see uh, what the, the client or prospective client would receive at this point you do get another opportunity to put your details in there you might find if people are shopping around they might put uh, you know made up names in there so we're working on the basis that James Bond's happy with that estimate I'll just jump over to my email address here my demo account you'll have already been notified at this point that somebody has generated an estimate whether they've uh, emailed it over to themselves or not and you'd be able to then click on that button and it would take you into Perfect Portal for you then to be able to follow up that lead. We can see James Bond's estimates just arrived. I'll just open this up so it's a little bit bigger. This is all about first impression now. It's, uh, it's trying to convert as many visitors to your website into clients as possible. My demo account is Balmoral Legal. They've gone with this let's get things moving theme. 
we can instruct here, we can request a callback, and this is where we'll advertise your branded app that uh, will be uh, the driver for all the uh, integration with InfoTrack and the onboarding. We could have a solicitor bio down here if we wanted. Attached to this will be the, the outgoing estimates. There'll be a, a designed by our graphics design team in-house, uh, a front sheet for you there. Then the estimate would follow, looks professional, precise, designed to look good on mobile devices. We've got a disclaimer, customizable, of course. And then a back sheet with your contact details. We work with about 450 firms. What most do is they'll put, say, a nice testimonial from a happy client down at the bottom. You could cross-sell other services within the business if you wanted to at that point. I've attached an advert here, and this will be advertising your branded app and some of the functionality we're going to talk about today will be contained within it. The e-sign, the verification of identity, verification of funds. It has the client satisfaction survey built into the app as well. We can chat, download documents much more securely than, than email as well, encrypted uh, chat within there. And we can, of course, receive instant updates with that. The client satisfaction survey that integrates with review solicitors as well. You can attach any document to this. I've attached a buying and selling guide here. Uh, it's just a value add, that, a, a bit of free advice. And that's how you would quote, whether it's through your website, whether a referrer is quoting on your behalf, or whether it's through the Perfect Portal. Uh, and we're back in the Perfect Portal dashboard. This is the new business admin dashboard. And you can see just here, if I scroll down some of the information there, right at the fingertips of the people that need that information there. So... Um, you know, if I push that across, this is the marketing dashboard for the marketing departments. There are tailored dashboards for all areas of the business. Let's work on the basis that somebody's telephoned into Balmoral Legal. They want a, a quote for a sale. All we need to do is raise a new quote at this point. You'll have your fee scales behind these matter icons. I'm just going to click on sale here, put some details in. Just type the details in here. Mr. Jimmy White will be on this particular sale. He wants a quote. I'll put my demo email address in here as well. And I'll put a phone number as well, because this will be all tied in as well to certain updates that the client will receive. If this uh, referral has come via a, an estate agent, broker, financial advisor, we can just put all the details of your referrers in the back. I've got Easy Move here, Kevin Keegan. I'll pull that across. This is important because the system enables you then to push notifications out, not just to the client, but to any interested party as well. So we just fill these details in whilst Jimmy White was on the telephone to us here. I've just put the details in, PR99XP. This is Perfect Portal's address, and I'll just drop that down. If there's a related purchase here, we can just bring a second quote across in this quoting process. I'm just going to generate the quote here. And this is what your new business team, your Fiona, whoever's preparing the quote will see in front of them here. So this particular sale, the fee scales there, we might find out additional information. We can create fees here. We can apply discounts, of course, if we want to. And we can edit any of these fees as well. The key here really will be to email the quote over to the potential client and the client will get that fully personalized branded quote, you know, maybe within you know, a minute or so of them making the initial call, we can see there that the, the potential client's been also sent a text message that the quote's on its way. And essentially what we're in now is we're in a new business management system, a CRM, if you like, and it's all got automated processes behind it. So let's have a look here. What's set up? Well, we've got an SMS message going out. This is going out after 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes after the quote's been raised. And it's just... It's just a nice text, really. We've recently sent you a quote. We'd be delighted to act on your behalf. It's just trying to push that inquiry through to conversion, through automation. Of course, we can schedule this at any point that we want. And the system can tell whether the email's been opened and that will trigger the, the initial message. So the same goes with emails. On this particular example, a follow-up email's going out a day after the quote's been raised. Of course, this will be all on your law firm's branded header uh, at the top there as well. Again, we can 
we can uh, reschedule that. So, you know, the hope will be at this point with Wow Jimmy White, he wants to instruct us. And there's just a simple step there to convert this quote into a matter within your case management system. So we've just got to check a few details here. We've got Jimmy White, we've got Kevin Keegan. That's easy move, are the details correct? We'll just check that. Now we can assign that to anyone within your case management system through integration there. If we've got any notes, we can just pop the notes in at this point. So when we press convert, this pushes all that data that we've taken from Jimmy White, from our client, and it lands within your case management system through our open API. So it's turning the whole file opening process into, you know, rather than a 10, 15 minute, 20 minute job, you know, it can just be a two minute job. All the fields will be already pre-populated and then you'll leave Perfect Portal behind on that particular matter and you'll continue to pursue uh, the case via your case management system. You can use Perfect Portal as a standalone system. We've probably got 80 or so clients that, that do use it as a standalone. Uh, but of course, integration is the key going forward. So what I've opened up now is this is Balmoral Legal's workflow. So this is the key stages that we're working to here. If it's an integrated uh, within your case management system, we can either map these key stages over. So when the Fiona carries out that particular task, it'll automatically update perfect portal and then it'll update the client and any other interested parties we could have a plugin where you've got a checklist like this where you'd then be able to update the client the, the client care letter in that case you can see the push notifications been sent to the app there what we want to do and why you're all here today is to look at how we can onboard jimmy white so this is where the info track ecosystem electronic client onboarding solution comes into play. So if you're integrated with InfoTrack, we'll just launch InfoTrack. Otherwise, we'll just launch InfoTrack from the desktop. We'll select ECOS here. If you are integrated, all this, will have, all this data will have already pulled through for you uh, at that point. Uh, so we've got Jimmy White's sale here. We've already uh, want Jimmy White's verification of ID. I know it's a sale, but I'll show you how the verification of funds works. Seller questionnaire, TA6, TA7, TA10. So we want all those within the app so the client can complete the onboarding easily. We also want Jimmy White to review, consider, and sign the client care letter. So if you're integrated, you'll just pull that directly from your case management system. So what I'm going to do now is just send this to the client in the background. Any forms where we've already got data are being pre-populated and it'll push a notification to the client's app that you can see. We need some additional information from you to get started. We now launch into your law firm's branded app. So the, the biometrics open up the branded app here. The potential client, the client can download your app from uh, the App Store, Apple App Store or Google Play at any time, uh, whether they've got a matter or not. So we've launched into your branded app now. This is Balmoral Legals, where we've sent the latest update. You know, thank you for instructing us to act on your behalf. Rob Lawson will keep you up to date throughout the transaction. Today, we've sent you the client care letters, etc. So we're pointing the client towards the to-do list. So the client's got my to-do list. And then we'll just click on that now. It's really easy for your client now to follow a flow of onboarding. So you can see there, we can sign documents, we can make a payment on account, we can verify ID, we can verify funds, and then we've got all the forms as well, including the TA6 and TA10 forms uh, within there as well. Uh, you probably wouldn't do it in this order, but I'm just going to show you how the payment on account functionality works. The client will just click payments on account at this point, launch into payments on account. This is actually picked up. I'm on an Apple iPhone. I can just use Apple Pay here. I can put my debit details in there if I want to, but I'll click Apple Pay, double click. The face ID will just ensure that it's me making that payment through the biometrics. It'll process that. It'll take us back into your branded app. It'll thank the client for making that payment. And then it'll mark that particular stage within the client's onboarding flow 
as complete in there. So that's how easy it is. You know, we've got uh, we've got clients sending requests for payments out, and within a minute, the payment has been received within the the integrated system. So let's have a look how easy it is then for the client to complete the onboarding. Sign the client care letter at this point. So we've got a session of authentication here with InfoTrack. We can send the code over and then we can just easily pull that code, verify that, and then it'll take us into DocuSign. So this is the whole ECOS product being delivered by the Perfect Portal branded app. The client can jump into here now review the client care letter, and then sign the client care letter. It's a very scruffy signature, but there we go. So we can finish this off when we do press finish. If you're integrated with InfoTrack, that will just drop the signed document into your correspondence pin uh, at that point. So let's go back into the onboarding. The client's now just got this easy flow to follow. Let's verify identity at this point. There's a consent form. Let's click to consent. Start verification. We've got three options here, passport, driving license, ID card. I'm gonna select driving license and take a picture of my driving license here. So there we go. Make sure that's clear. Take a photo, confirm that over. And now this is where it does the live video biometric test. So I can, I'll get to say hello to you all here when you see me through this window. There we go, analyzing the biometric data. That's been a success. It'll now just check the, the ID through here. There we go, all complete. And we can bat on to, you know, verifying our address. So address documents, bank statement, utility bill, council tax. Uh, forgive me for this bank statement, but we've got Jimmy White's hastily <laughs> drawn bank statement there. And we can use that and then submit it. Obviously, the system would uh, reject that as uh, a document just to show you how it works. I'll show you the verification of funds as well. This is really smart how this works. This hooks in with the client's online banking. So we'll click onto this, start verification. And then through the integration with TrueLayer, I can jump in and select, you know, one or more banks that I want uh, at this point as a client. I've just got Mock Bank. This shows you how it works. I'll just log in on here, use John, and then the biometrics will, will take me in as well. So here we go. It's just generating the documents, and that's how quick it is, really, just to pull all those statements that we've requested together. So it does take a moment whilst it pulls that documentation together, but they'll all start dropping in one by one. Again, through integration, this will just drop into your, your case management system. So that's all, yeah, that's all complete now. Uh, and then we can go into the, the forms to be completed. So we've got a personal information form here. All the data that we've already captured has already come across to the form to save the client from having to re-key any information. That's the, the property information form. We've got the seller questionnaire there. We've got the property information form. So this is a smart form uh, licensed by the Law Society onto the protocol forms. It's fabulous. Uh, and the client can just follow this process uh, easily as well. If they do get stuck, the guidance notes are in here as well. Uh, and it's just proved to be a phenomenal success for law firms that are using this. Um, the same with the, the fittings and contents. Let's go down to that, uh, show you what they look like as well. So just to give you an indication of how easy it is there to complete that information. You know, I know many of you will have seen InfoTrack have been running a, a competition on, you know, how fast you can actually onboard. We've actually got one of the quickest today as, as on our panel here on this webinar. So we can we can have a, a further look into that. But you know, people are getting completely onboarded within 20 minutes. And I'm I'm being told by by our clients that within you know an hour, two hours is is routine to get all this documentation back as well. So just go back into there. I'll launch back into Perfect Portal because all the areas that we've completed will be completed off uh, with the app. The client will know when they've completed everything, of course. Uh, so within the Perfect Portal app, you're able to communicate as well. 
and within info track as well you're able to send you know reminders via info track to be pushed towards the the app uh, so please can you complete and then i'll send that to their client and it'll push a notification there to their app so whatever message you put in there i've got it set up on my system also to send a, a text message there as with everything in perfect portal it's highly customizable to your needs and to your processes so i'll just jump into perfect portal just to give you an indication of how you would update the client so either through mapping it within your case management system or through a pop-up screen where you would have a task list that you can check off key stages agenda milestones however you want to call them so that's how easy it is to, to update. I'll just jump down to exchange of contracts here. I've put um, the client satisfaction survey in here. Engagement tends to be the highest and uh, you'll get lots of your data back. I said earlier, we, re we integrate with review solicitors. This is a review branded form on here, but uh, it doesn't have to be a branded form if uh, you don't work with review solicitors. So we'll complete that customizable questions on there. The client can then free type any feedback. Great service, would recommend you love your app. Now, I've got to say that, but it's what our clients and, and your clients and the end users are saying about the products. It's really easy for them to use and it's much more efficient than many current processes that are in place. So that's the, the, the updating functionality. We've also got functionality here where we can exchange documents with clients we can send messages to the client if you give them permission to do so they can also correspond back with you as well so we'll open up the channel of communication here just to show you how it works i'll put hey jimmy please can you review and then i'll just push that across but i'll attach a document if you're integrated we can attach that directly from your case management system I'll just pull something across from, from my PC on there. So push that across. There'll be a, an instant push notification to the client app, and then it opens up a facility where the client can communicate with you. So we can go into here. We could say, I don't know. Hi, Rob. I will complete after work. And then we can send that across. We can export this chat at any point if we want to to the correspondence pin within the case management system the reason i've put our complete after work is because what you'll also have is and what your client will also have is their own online portal as well to log into and this is a replication of the mobile app you could have a client login button on your website and then they can launch into um, a portal that's familiar it's all about offering a choice of course as well so we can do our digital onboarding online as well. So this will just show what we completed off before, but if we follow any of this, we can then do it all online as well. We have an area to store documents within uh, the client's app. Uh, and this is useful because, you know, once a client's got your branded app on the phone, it's got their personal documents in there as well. You know, you've got a client for life, really. Hopefully, they'll instruct you via the app the next time they want your services. Within here, of course, we've got the chat. We've got uh, the details of the individual matter. And we've got the, the progress list as well. We can actually refer a friend via the app as well. And many of our law firm clients are getting referrals via the refer the friend uh, aspects of this, of course. So the client gets a portal, your referrer gets a portal as well, where they can log in, they can track the progress using the, the key stage trackers in there. And, and that's fully functional as well. So your referrers might just have your law firm app on the phone uh, as well, which is really convenient for them to be able to drop you new leads or, or quotes on your behalf if you give them uh, permissions to do that. So let's just complete this particular sale off for Jimmy White, and then we can push the update. Here we go, push notification. Of course, we can personalize all these key stage updates to the client or to any other party, but that's it. That's Jimmy White's sale complete, uh, the onboarding, the fee earner journey. You know, right from quoting to sending out the onboarding documents, 
could take you as little as five minutes, really. Uh, so that's how efficient the system is. Uh, I've got limited time today. I do love uh, demonstrating and presenting this product because it's got so many fabulous features. But I know many on this call are our clients. If we've got people that don't use Perfect Portal on the webinar today, I would love to, to, to show all the additional features that Perfect Portal has got and how it can make your processes more efficient and cut down that onboarding process whilst making a fabulous client experience and probably the best client experience that's in the marketplace so far. So thank you for listening to that brief presentation. Uh, I'll pass you back to Satu. Perfect. Thank you so much, Rob. And I can already see some questions coming through here. So what we're going to do is um, I'm going to um, ask Mimi, uh, our pro uh, senior product specialist at InfoTrack, some of the questions that you know tend to be asked about ECOS, onboarding, as well as the integration. Hi, Mimi. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine, Satu. Hopefully you can hear me too. But yep, I can, Chris. Crystal clear. So my first question is, what devices can you complete the ECOS on? So as most of your clients will have downloaded the Perfect Portal app, they will most likely be using a smartphone or an iPad or tablet, but they also have the choice to use a laptop or desktop. So pretty much any device, and they also have the functionality to switch between devices as and when convenient. Perfect. Do ECOS completed documents get sustained? stored within the Perfect Portal app? Yes, they do. So as Rob just showed, um, any documents that you make available to your clients, um, either for their awareness or because you need uh, electronic signature, they will have stored in the documents tab. So they will have access to your standard terms of business, your client care letters that they've signed, and they can obviously download, print, save, keep it stored on the app for as long as they need. Perfect. Will the fee earner receive notification when the different parts of the ECOS um, journey have been completed? Most certainly. So we definitely try and make sure that the fee earner is kept up to date throughout the whole process. So once the client care pack has been signed by all parties, they'll be notified via email. Once each party has completed their ID check, they'll also be notified. Once the financial statements are back for the verification of funds, they'll receive additional notification. And of course, once all the forms have been completed, they'll receive the final notification that the client's onboarding has now been completed. Fantastic. Um, the forms, the digital forms that are within ECOS, are they the Law Society tier forms? They absolutely are, Satu. So we license the forms directly from the Law Society. So we have the TA6, the TA7 and the TA10. Um, and we also have the Law Society's guidance on every question as well. So just as you would have in paper form, we have it, but in digital. Perfect. Uh, what if the consumer doesn't know how to complete the forms? Is there any support? There most certainly is. So one thing we don't want with the e course is your clients constantly calling you if they've got a question or they're not sure how to do something. So we have a dedicated e course support team that work Monday to Friday, nine till six. And we make sure that we can answer anything technical about the onboarding process that your clients might have. So if they're not the most tech savvy, if they just want a bit of handholding, a bit of support doing the ID check, or they've got queries about how the how secure the verification of funds might be, they can contact our support team. The number is available within the portal they're completing the process in, and we can obviously assist them. Now, if your client calls us and they have a legal question, then of course, at that point, we'll pass them back to you as we won't obviously step on your territory. Perfect. What is the average time for the consumer to return the completed pack? So the feedback that we were getting from clients before they um, implemented ECOS and Perfect Portal was that the onboarding process was taking anywhere from one to two weeks, sometimes even longer, for the law firm to get the copies of the ID documents, get the client care pack signed and completed, get the TA forms and questionnaires back. But with Firms that have adopted ECOS and Perfect Portal, they're usually finding that they can get this done on average within about 48 hours. So two days, they're getting everything back. I think the fastest we've had is just under 20 minutes. So it can be a bit too efficient sometimes, but it's great that we can make things easier for you guys. 
Perfect. Um, how long does it take to set it all up um, with, with this integration and the e cost So once your Branded Perfect Portal app is ready, it takes literally 30 minutes for us to set up the integration. So things like your branding, things like your customized templates, um, just switching on the integration, it will be ready to go live in 30 minutes. Perfect. Um, can you change client details once the ECOS workspace has been created? Yes, you most certainly can. I'm just going to start sharing my screen here just to show you um, how that process looks. Okay. Just give me one second. Okay, so I can dive into any matter that I've previously created. If my client comes back to me, Ruby, and says the number I have on the system is incorrect, it's just a case of clicking on the edit icon, amending the number. If maybe perhaps I just got a digit wrong, or I can also amend the name, email address. And when you do click on save, that automatically updates the system. Perfect. Can you amend ECOS order once it's been submitted? Absolutely. So we've tried to make sure that this is as dynamic and flexible as possible because we know that you may not always have the information you need right at the start. So if you need to add additional parties, you can do that even after the order is submitted. If you want to add additional documents for signing, you can always update this maybe with your privacy notice, any other documents that become relevant during the process. If perhaps you weren't sure if the property was leasehold or freehold to start with and you'd only order the TA6, you can always come back later down the line and add any additional forms that become relevant. Perfect. Um, how can firms send reminders to the consumers if they haven't completed uh, some of the steps? So we make it really easy for you guys to notify your clients that you're waiting for the completion of their onboarding. As Rob showed, it's just a case of clicking on send client reminder. You can amend the messaging that you want to go out to your client and it will go out to them as a push notification they'll receive within the app. Perfect. Can you onboard third party gifters as well? Via you most certainly can. So one thing you'll see in our purchase questionnaire is we ask exactly where do the purchase funds come from? So if your client is providing some of the purchase via a mortgage or from savings or from a third party gifter, we will collect all of these details, including the gifters details within the purchase questionnaire. So you have that to hand. And then it's just a case of onboarding the gifter. So we've got a dedicated tab for that. You can input the gifters details and we can ask that they also do an ID check and they also give us access to the bank accounts where the money that's been gifted have originated and we can send this to the gifter to complete themselves. Perfect. What results come back for the ID checks um, or fund checks? Yep, so we try and make sure that the results we provide are as detailed as possible. So this is what Jumia, who we use for our ID checks, will send you back. So these are just demo results. So Jumia will confirm your client's full name, your client's date of birth, the document type used, the document reference, the document expiry date, and most importantly, that the document itself is a valid government issued document, it's not counterfeit, it's not fraudulent. The MRZ check is only done when passports are used, but Jumia will also go a step further and confirm that the photograph that was provided is the same photograph that the relevant government body had on the file. So if you had a dodgy client that had stuck their photo on top of somebody else's driver's license, it would flag it here. But because we also do a biometric live scan of your client's face, we can also verify that the person completing this onboarding is a biometric match to the document we've now verified under the similarity. Perfect. Um, what, um, would you be able to share a v um, the verification of funds example? Yes, absolutely. So this is what will come directly from the bank. That's the key feature of our verification of funds product rather than your client's downloading statements and sending them to you and you're receiving bundles of paperwork that you don't really have any um, verification that they are valid or haven't been tampered with or amended because these statements come directly from your client's bank. We know that they are valid. So this is an example of a statement that has come directly from HSBC. 
they will confirm your client's name, the accounts in question. But what we find is the most relevant for you guys as fee earners is that we are able to highlight the largest transactions on that account over the last six months. So rather than spending hours pouring over statements to find out where has the purchase money come from, you can see exactly where the largest credits in that account has originated from. You can see the nature of the transaction and we also flag when we are not sure exactly where that money has come from. So, you know, okay, I probably need to go back to this client and query where that £5,000 came from because the bank hasn't been able to determine this. Perfect. What has the consumer and law firm feedback have been so far with the verification of funds? It's been really positive. So, as I said earlier, it's a product that really does save the fee earner a lot of time. So not only do we itemize um, the largest transactions at the top, but we will still give you six months worth of transactions if you do need to have a deeper dive. Um, What we do find is the law firms that have the higher adoption of the verification of funds are the law firms that explain to their clients a little bit more about the process, that it's safe and secure, it's regulated by EU law, they're dealing with their bank's own security protocols, and they're in complete control of the accounts and information that they share. And we also allow your clients to submit accounts from multiple banks. So if they have savings accounts with Halifax, if they've got a business account with HSBC, they can provide statements from all of those. Fantastic. I know there's quite a few more ECOS um, and integration related questions already in the Q&A, which I will ask um, after the session is over. So thank you so much, Mimi, um, for taking the time and helping me answer those questions. My pleasure, Sati. Perfect. And now I wanted to uh, speak with Amy, the managing partner at Lucas and Willis, about her experience with um, the app, the ECOS, uh, the ECOS onboarding system, as well as the um, just overall client onboarding, uh, other offerings that are with the app. Um, Welcome, Amy. Thank you for joining us today. How are you? (laughs) I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> so you've been using ECOS and the Perfect Portal integration for a while now, haven't you? Yes, we have been InfoTrack customers for about two years. and We've been using Perfect Portal since April 2020, so quite some time now. Oh, good, and you're already on board with everything, which we love. <laughs> <Exciting>. <laughs> so what made you decide to sign up um, for the Perfect Portal app? Well, we wanted to make the process as smooth as we possibly could for our clients. And the app ticked a lot of boxes for that, um, particularly the ability to update clients and agents so easily. It was such a big factor and it's proven to be really popular with clients and agents alike. Um, And it's also helping us to stand out against the competition. Oh, good. Um, When did you start using ECOS and what challenges did it help solve for your firm? And we started using ECOS about five months ago now. Um, And we found the biggest factor is that it's considerably cut down how long it takes to onboard our clients and to make sure that we're compliant with ID and funding checks. Um, And it's also reduced the need for clients to come into the office, which saves them time. And also in light of the COVID restrictions has been really helpful. Perfect. And how do your customers find the onboarding experience via your app? really easy most clients complete it without any issues you're always going to get some clients that aren't great with it um, but we've been able to talk them through the process i like that we can go into ecos we can see exactly where they've got to with the forms whether they've missed some questions which means they can't sign them off so we can talk them through that and go through the questions um, we try and make it as easy as we possibly can most clients use the app but we've also added a link to the portal on our website plus um, created some FAQ documents using your own FAQ information, the telephone number and the email on there as well. So just to try and cut down the amount of questions they need to ask us. But most people embrace it. We rarely get any that that can't use this system. Most of them find it really exciting and they like receiving the updates and just seeing how the matters progress. So it's it's been really great for us. And, And just as an example of how easy it is to use the system, I had an ID check back recently and when I was checking it and making sure it was all okay, um, the screen capture of the photo was the client in the bath. So it was so easy to do. <laughs> I'd even done it in the bath. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's, 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 that's yeah. 
yeah <laughs> that's, that's that's crazy um <laughs> what, what has been the record for so, so far for your your firm being um, for the quickest onboarding 26 minutes has been my quickest oh wow it's that amazing. is very very quick yeah, very um quick. I, I know you use the app to collect payment as well on the account. How has that change been for your firm? It's been really good. It's so easy to use um, and it really takes the pressure off our accounts department because they're not constantly having to take calls, process payments, match them up from bank transfers. And it's just easy for the clients to use, particularly with the Apple Pay, Google Pay. A lot of them just say you know, they can do it so quickly they can do it at whatever time of day they want to do they haven't got to log into their bank account transfer money so it's just made the process a lot smoother that's really good because I know that's one of the you know features that we released because of the pandemic we had quite a few firms requesting that that they wanted that feature within the app so they can you know because again they had many staff that were furloughed so you know it's a constraint on resources so I'm glad that you're um, benefiting from that feature um, how has the app-based um, onboarding helped your internal processes and impact you know, that it had on the workload for your staff? It mostly saves us time. Um, we found that opening files is almost too easy to do now, really. Um, it's so quick, cuts down the time scale. I can open a new file now and send out client care in under 15 minutes in a process that sometimes you'd be faffing about with paperwork and getting everything ready and it could take up to an hour, then you're posting it out. So it just makes everything so much smoother. The client's love the updates we get so many much less calls and emails from clients and from estate agents asking for updates because they already know where we're at and they know that they're expecting another update soon so they'll wait for that rather than giving us a call and and using up our time so it's just made us so much more efficient we can get so much more work done in the same space of time it's brilliant yeah, thank you so much, Amy, for taking the time. I know you're quite busy right now. <laughs> so I really appreciate for you, you know, sharing your experience and joining us for the webinar today. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Perfect. So my next is um, just some of the 2021 developments that we have currently in our pipeline. Um, one of them being is the automated uh, reminders for outstanding tasks. So at the moment, as you saw by um, what Mimi showed you, as well as Rob, that you can send manual reminders to your clients to complete the outstanding tasks from the ECOS workspace, which will send push notifications, an email or SMS to remind um, your clients to complete the remaining tasks. With Perfect Portal, we have an automation center that manages all the automated communication for the firm. We're currently working on adding a new feature that will allow the firms to schedule automated reminders for the outstanding e-cost tasks. For example, you will be able to send a reminder or multiple reminders automatically if the ID verification is not completed within, let's say, 24 hours, and then another notification after 48 hours, or even if the TA forms, let's say they complete the TA forms, but the signature um, is not completed yet. So then you can set, keep on sending reminders until it's done and you, you'll be able to customize uh, the messaging of those reminders within Perfect Portal's Automation Center. The next is HMLR Safe Harbor. As you all know, um, HMLR issued Practice Guide 21 in March this year to encourage solicitors and conveyancers to use digital ID prescribing a higher standard of identity check than manual process by using biometric and cryptographic technology. These are brand new guidance and will most likely get updated after feedback is provided from the law firms and the industry suppliers. InfoTrack is the largest client of Land Registry and they're working with them to ensure the enhancements we make to our tech is not only compliant, but it also works within the con- consumer workflow. Jumio, the ID verification technology that is used within ACOS, has been around for 10 plus year and is one of the global leaders in the ID verification market, trusted by leading brands around the world, such as HSBC and Monzo. Perfect Portal's consumer app and Infotrax ECOS have been around for three to four years, and we have enhanced the product immensely after receiving feedback on consumer workflow and experience. We want to make sure any new updates we make to our tech don't interrupt the customer current journey as we want to make sure our law firms are able to do the ID verification as quickly but as uh, compliant to the new regulations. We are working with all the partners involved to make sure our tech is compliant with the new guidance by this summer without limiting the workflow of the users. 
And just to give you an example, last month, over 5,000 IDs were verified using ECOS with the 94% with the ab approval rate. We want to make sure any new enhancements that we make do not impact um, the approval rate for the customers. The next one is the early client data for the TA6 part one, which is due in two different releases in summer as well as autumn. In March, we announced that our digital TA6 um, part one project that we're working on with the Law Society and InfoTrack to help improve the speed of the property transaction. We are currently working on this development and it will be released in two stages. In a quick summary, the Law Society has split the TA6 form into two parts, making the part one available as seller, uh, to sellers at an earlier stage to make sure they attract the right buyer for their property. The seller will be able to see the TA6 part one questions within the firm's app as soon as they download it. Splitting the form will make it less overwhelming for the consumer to answer those questions and they can complete them quicker via the app. The seller will get a task alert on their mobile app's homepage to complete the TA6 part one. And once clicked, um, they can complete their information and the information related to the property within the app. The TA6 part one questions from ECOS will appear within the app. And once the questions are completed, their agent will receive a copy automatically, giving them access to the information they need to market that property. Once the consumer instructs the solicitor or conveyancer, they can then place the ECOS order with the full TA6 form. When the complete TA6 form is ordered within the app, the part one answers will automatically pre-populate, saving the seller time and making the process quicker. You can see this from the screenshots here. We're working on this with Repit as well, which is a CRM system for estate agents to make sure that agents get their say into the product and making sure they get the information that they need to market that property. The firms that we are working on with uh, developing this project are very thrilled um, as this will help them digitize the conveyancing process further and help them save time for, per transaction. So sit, stay tuned for this release as we know it will be a game changer in the industry. That's it. Uh, for the webinar. I know there's quite a few questions already, uh, so I'm just going to ask them and direct them to different speakers to answer those questions. Okay. So the first question here is, does the seller questionnaire pre-populate the data as we have ha had repeat clients complaining that they keep having to repeat the same information, i.e. does it pull it back from LEAP or um, just use the data within the new PP inquiry? Um, Nimi, are you able to answer this question? Yes, I am, Satu. So the seller questionnaire will be pre-populated, but only to a certain extent. So we'll pull through the party's details, we'll pull through the property in question, um, but the remainder of the form will need to be completed by okay. the clients. Perfect, thank you. When the forms have been signed by the client, how would someone pull those docs over to the PMS system being used? Would they pull through or would they need to be dragged and dropped from a list of docs on Perfect Portal and InfoTrack? I think maybe this one's for you as well. <laughs> yes, it is. So if you are on a CMS that integrates with InfoTrack, those documents will automatically fall back into the correspondence folder within that matter. So you don't have to drag and drop anything. If you're not with a case management system that we integrate with, the documents will fall back into InfoTrack ECOS, and then you can obviously download, save, print, etc., access them from within ECOS. Perfect, thank you, Mimi. Um, when client sends message via the app, how is the fee earner alerted? Rob? Yeah, so currently the fee earner would be alerted via uh, an email as well that a chat's been uh, received. Uh, I think the plans at Perfect Portal are try to try and remove email out of the process as much as possible, and we're looking at different development options on that. Perfect. Thank you, Rob. Um, Next question is, how often are clients reminded to deal with the CCP? Mimi, are you able to answer that one? Sorry, Satu, how often are clients reminded to deal with the CCP? 
PCB. Yeah, I, I can deal with that if you like. Right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> cur currently, it's a, it's a manual process. We've, we've shown how the uh, reminders were pushed through. Uh, but as Satu said there in the in the development plans that are coming quite quickly, actually, uh, we're looking to automate that. So that will be a decision for you then to be able to determine the parameters of updates or follow ups. Perfect. Thank you, Rob. Um, what support do you offer in relation to case management system integration? Rob, do you want to mention on this uh, integration yeah, of the case management systems? Yeah, yeah. So. I don't know if, you, if I don't know if you mean that in relation to InfoTrack or, or Perfect Portal, but you know broadly uh, it'll be the same. We have uh, integration partners that we have off the peg integrations with, if you like, uh, and we do have uh, integrations where they've been built through our API. So, um, in relation to uh, the integration uh, and the, and the support that you get uh, with the integration, it just depends what we're integrating with really. Uh, but that's a question to have a further conversation about if you wanted to email me and then I can take you through that uh, in more detail. And just to add to that, Satu, we do have um, a dedicated integration team as well at InfoTrack where we can look into obviously making sure we can get you guys set up and fully integrated with the ECOS on our end as well. Perfect, thank you, Mimi. Um, the next question is, how secure do you think a client feels calling someone other than their solicitor if they're having a query regarding the system? And Mimi, as well as Amy, if you both can answer this one, I think that'd be really good. Um, from my end, I would say they definitely feel quite secure because we get a lot of calls. <laughs> so um, when your clients do have questions, technical, questions they do feel pretty confident to give us a call I would say most of the time we are the first point of call um, and yeah I would say I don't have any stats to hand but I would say um, your clients do feel pretty confident contacting yeah, us. I would agree with that we've not had any issues with clients being hesitant to call yeah no, that, that's good to hear thank you Amy um, how does it work across the whole firm um, outside of conveyancing that's a great question. Um, so we do have law firms that are using ECOS onboarding right across the whole law firm. So within the family division, private clients, we do have um, dedicated forms for commercial transactions as well as private trans and private client transactions. But we do have the verification of identity products being used in pretty much all matters across law firms where they have adopted ECOS because obviously identifying clients is relevant. Across, yeah. Um, yeah, Rob yeah, and it, from the from the perfect portal side, we have over two hundred and eighty different matter types that people can use and do use perfect portal for as well. Um, it'd be great to show you how it how it works in 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 other areas of the business as well, because the the process is just as slick uh, in relation to to whatever other department you want to use it for as well. So I'd be uh, I'd be more than happy to present that to you. Perfect. Can you verify funds using something other than a bank link? Clients may be wary of linking us to their bank account. Mimi, maybe you can um, talk about that. Yes, I can. Um, so it's not done via a bank link and you wouldn't be linked to your client's account. So the process is called open banking. You'd never be given access or any details be shared with yourselves about your clients and bank accounts they would be logging into their bank's own interface so i use natwest bank if i wanted to send my statements from natwest i would be logging into my natwest banking app or logging into natwest online and it's the same standard security protocols that your client goes through whenever they log into their bank usually nothing will be shared outside of that Perfect. Thank you, uh, Mimi. Um, I have another one here. What are the costs of the ID and source of fund checks and also the costs of the payment system? So maybe you can take the first bit of the question, Mimi. Yes, I can. So um, our costs are charged per party and they're inclusive of VAT. And we've made sure that we only charge you for what you use. So if you need the full e-cost 
product suite on an onboarding, it would be £16.50 and that's broken down as £7.80 for all forms, no matter how many that you ask your client to complete, no matter how many documents you upload for electronic signatures, that's a fixed cost of £7.80. If you require um, the verification of identity, that's a fixed cost of £6.30. And then if you require the verification of funds, that's a fixed cost of £2.40. So you only pay for what you order. Perfect. And Rob, for the payment on account? Yeah, the payment on account is quite simple. It's 1.8% of the transaction plus 50p. Perfect. Thank you. Will a recording be uh, of this webinar will be available? Yes, Lee, uh, we will be sending that out shortly um, later today. Perfect. Is the Perfect Portal app an additional cost if we already use Perfect Portal? Rob? Yeah, so, so what I've shown you today is part of Perfect Portal's premium package. So there is an additional per matter charge for that. But uh, if you drop me an email, I can detail all the costs for you, um, if that's OK. Perfect. Um, I have another question here. Um, clients often get frustrated at having to provide ID and AML to multiple parties. Um, does the app allow the state agents to process it and retain it for their own records? Rob, maybe you can answer about the future development around that. Yeah, so, so sorry. Uh, can you repeat that question, Sassy? Um, clients often get frustrated at having to provide ID and AML to multiple parties. Does the app allow the agent, estate agents to process it and retain it for their own records? Yeah, this will, this will all be part of our future development. And we'll be doing more with the estate agents as we integrate with more estate agent software as well. Yeah. At the moment, we're working with Repit um, and we have a, a group of agents that were um, in our focus group that were trying to develop the tech there a bit more. So there will be more coming on that way. Um, I have a couple more questions here. Uh, can you share documents through the app that do not need signing just for information purposes? Rob? Uh, yes, you can. So, so I, I shared uh, a document through there in the in the in the presentation. So you can you can send any kind of document that you want to the to the client. You know, if you were to send them a Word document, they could just open that up within their app or from within the online portal and complete that. Attach it uh, with uh, if you're using Leap as well, that'll just drop directly into the correspondence pin uh, within Leap for you when that document's uh, completed. Uh, there is a cost to that service and it's part of the um, premium package. Uh, but if you let me know uh, your details, I can I can advise you on the costs of that. Perfect. Thank you, Rob. A follow up question on that one is, can you share documents that clients need to fill in the app? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you can. Uh, it, it, it's a much. It's a, it's a, it's a more static approach than the e, the e cost proposition, uh, but you can send forms out and then the client can complete them and then uh, send them back to you uh, via the portal via the app that will drop into Perfect Portal and into Leap for you. Perfect. Um, uh, this might be for you, Mimi. Can we see slash print a copy of ID taken for our central register? Yes, you most certainly can. Um, if it's okay, Sato, I'm just going to share my screen because of course, that's something yeah. I should have actually displayed beforehand. So along with the verification that the client is who they say they are, we will also provide you with a copy of the document your client used to verify for your records. We'll also provide you with a selfie that we take of your client as well for your records during the process. And lastly, with the document your client submitted for their proof of address. So this will all be made available to you. If you're integrated, it will automatically store within your case management system. Otherwise, it's made available via InfoTrack. Perfect. And uh, Mimi, just I was going to say, just keep your sh screen shared because the next, uh, <laughs> next yep. questions, you might want to share your screen as well. It says, you have shown one client completing the form. How do multiple clients complete the forms? Um, TA6, for example, do they each need to sign the form um, and 780 charge per, is per person or how does that work? Great question. So the way it works when there's multiple parties, so let's say a husband and wife, is that they will both be given their own workspace where they can complete the forms, but they're going to be mirror images of each other. So when it comes to the individual tasks, such as 
signing their client care documents. They can do that individually, completing their ID check, providing their funds check. That can all be done individually. But when it comes to the forms, the TA6, TA10, seller questionnaire, what the husband does in his workspace will automatically be mirrored in the wife's. So they can complete them together collaboratively or one party does everything. It automatically updates in the other parties, but both parties will be required to sign the completed forms. Perfect. Thank you, Mimi. Um, the next question is, is there um, an option to use the ECOS um, system website without having access to the app? Yes, there most certainly is. So you can use ECOS via Perfect Portal on the desktop without having to download the app. Um, but most of the Perfect Portal clients will be downloading the app and doing it via their mobile phone or their laptop. And I have, sorry, iPad. Perfect. Um, I know we're just out of time here. There are a couple more questions, so we will reach out to you directly. Uh, so thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. We will wrap it up here and we will send out the recording either later today or tomorrow morning. And thank you to Mimi and uh, Amy, as well as Rob, for sharing all the insights rela related to ECOS and the integration. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy your day. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.